About a week ago, I reported that Tesla is preparing the Fremont factory for a huge quarter two with Fremont factory running 10 to 20% above capacity because it wanted to overcome the losses brought by the lockdowns in China and Tesla Giga Shanghai. Now we have some images today uh, shared by Tesla Fun MATL Twitter channel uh, that shows how busy Fremont factory is today. Uh, James Cat, who tweets at Tesla Fund MTL, says, I don't think Fremont has ever been this busy this early in a quarter. I mean, we have seen Fremont factory being very busy, but not as early in the quarter. He says, Rick, a record production if they can maintain this pace. There are cars everywhere. What a beautiful hot uh, mess here at the Fremont factory. What do you think, friends, about the Fremont factory? It looks like it's very busy there and uh, we're looking forward to have a strong quarter now before i go any further i wanted to say that i am not a part of a tesla shareholder group i don't show uh, i don't have any shares and i'm not in the market Tesla's Fremont factory has an annual production rate of 600,000 vehicles, Tesla stated in its most recent shareholder deck. It builds all four currently offered Tesla models and is the only factory to manufacture each vehicle in Tesla's lineup. Breaking down to about 150,000 vehicles per quarter, Tesla could be operating with at least 30,000 additional cars coming out of Fremont in quarter to a hefty supplemental number to accommodate lost progress in Shanghai this quarter. As you know, Shanghai was closed uh, for almost a month. I think it's now uh, still closed. In April, Tesla was forced to shut down the Gigafactory Shanghai facility for, uh, for, um, for I think three weeks or so due to this outbreak in the region. The Shanghai production plant was kept dormant for three Three weeks, all but axing Tesla's hopes to continue a strike of growth in vehicle deliveries. Tesla's 310,048 deliveries in quarter one 2022 outshined any previous quarter, but assist, um, assistance is definitely needed if the automaker plans to continue growth in production and delivers. So as I said, um, Trip Chaudhry, a global equities research, released a new note on May 2nd saying that Tesla's Fremont factory is working, is running as much as 20% above capacity to help um, Giga Shanghai's uh, losses. Chaudhry said his routine checks on Tesla's Fremont fa facility factory had been evidence of a massive production push in Northern California. This month especially has shown major progress. May 2022 is off to an extremely strong production, shipment and deliveries, Chaudhry said in that same note. And he said that Fremont factory is running 10 to 20% above the capacity, preparing for a strong uh, quarter, second quarter. The note also stated then that recent imagery of the Fremont factory seems to show more logistics uh, vehicles arriving at Fremont, especially when comparing daily pickups of completed cars to the first quarters. A lot of cars are coming to haul uh, and deliver the newly produced Model 3, Model Y, and so on. Chaudhry estimates there are at least 20% more shipping trucks arriving at the facility. And as you can see from these images, things are very busy. I don't remember the last time I have seen the Fremont factory this busy. Now, while the assessment from Chaudhry is based on his pers personal perspective, there is certainly an indication that Tesla could be using Fremont to pick up the slack from China the slack from Shanghai. The car maker has been known to push Fremont past capacity in past quarters, especially during the last few weeks of December, to put an exclamation point on a fiscal year. However, Tesla is also ramping manufacturing at its two new production facilities in Austin, Texas and in Berlin, Giga Berlin. These two facilities will take less than a year to reach full production, according to CEO Elon Musk's estimates on last quarter's earnings call. But as I reported, I think it was yesterday, we saw some very good activity at Giga Factory Texas. About 100 Model Ys built in Giga Texas were being hauled uh, the, the 
deliver it. But it was not a good indication that Tesla Giga Texas is now building and delivering about 100 Model Y vehicles. Uh, actually, not Giga, not Giga Berlin, Giga Texas, because some of those vehicles were the existing um, uh, inventory that Tesla Giga Texas had already built. But still good indication because I think Tesla is doing everything it can to increase the production at Giga Factory uh, Texas and also Giga Factory Berlin. But for Berlin, it needs to hire more people. And as I reported a couple of days ago, Tesla Giga Berlin has already reached the one third of its hiring target. And right now, more than 4,000 people are working at Giga Berlin. So Chadri remains bullish on Tesla with a street high $2,300 price target and a buy rating on the stock. Tesla shares had tumbled through the past weeks as Elon Musk sold some $8.5 billion in stock to fund an acquisition of social media platform Twitter. Do you think it's good? So let me know, friends, what do you think? What do you think about this uh, busyness of uh, Fremont Gigafactory? Um, I don't think Fremont has ever been this busy this early in the quarter. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, please. I would appreciate thumbs up for this video if you find the information helpful and sharing in social media. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. See you soon in our next report.